Hey, good morning. How y'all doing this morning? It is March 30th, 2022, a Wednesday. And I felt prompted to get away from the spiritual gifts teachings today. So we're going to take a little break and talk about suffering for the Lord. I know that's just what we want to hear, right? Paul says in 2 Timothy 3, verse 12, All that live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. You won't find this verse in your promise box on your kitchen table. Just saying. But if we believe what Jesus says in Matthew 5, verses 11 and 12, it says, Blessed are you when they revile you and persecute you and say all kinds of things against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be exceeding glad, for great is your reward in heaven. For so they persecuted the prophets who were before you. First Peter chapter 4 verses 12 through 19 says, Beloved, do not think it strange concerning the fiery trial which is to try you, as though some strange thing happened to you, but rejoice to the extent that you partake of Christ's sufferings, that when his glory is revealed, you may also be glad with exceeding joy. If you are reproached for the name of Christ, blessed are you, for the spirit of glory and of God rest upon you. On their part he is blasphemed, but on your part he is glorified. But let none of you suffer as a murderer, a thief, an evildoer, or a busybody in other people's matters. Yet if anyone suffers as a Christian, if anyone suffers as a Christian, let him not be ashamed, but let him glorify God in this matter. So if you are suffering, you are bringing glory to God. I know it's hard to understand, but that's what the word says. For the time has come for judgment to begin at the house of God. And if it begins with us first, what will be the end of those who do not obey the gospel of God? Now, if the righteous one is scarcely saved, where will the ungodly and the sinner appear? Therefore, let those who suffer according to the will of God commit their souls to him in doing good as to a faithful creator. So these verses are saying, if we go through trials, we should rejoice. We should be exceedingly glad. I know it's hard to do, to have joy in the midst of our circumstances. Peter says we are blessed. He says if we don't, excuse me, he said if we suffer, don't be ashamed, but we are to glorify God. Jesus said that if we suffer for his sake, our reward will be greater in heaven. Who needs to be rewarded here on earth when we can have eternal rewards in heaven? Amen. That wraps it up for today. I know it's been a little different, but I believe somebody needed to hear this. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and feel free to share it with your friends on Facebook and YouTube. Let us pray. Father God, we know that we don't normally thank you for sufferings. We don't normally thank you for persecutions, Lord. But what your word says is that it is necessary. Jesus said it. Paul said it. Peter said it. It is necessary for us to serve the Lord and that we will suffer persecutions. Father, we just ask that you would give us strength to get through them, Lord God, to know that you are in our midst. You are our deliverer. 
Lord God, whatever we face, you can deliver us from it, Lord God. And Father, we just pray for those that we know of that are sick, Lord God. We pray healing. By Jesus' stripes, we are healed. And Father God, I believe that. I believe that for me. I believe that for my wife, Pamela. I believe that for all of my friends and family, that by Jesus' stripes, you are healed. And Father God, help us. Let the Holy Spirit speak to us and through us that your will may be done in our lives. And Lord God, that things will be done on earth. Lord God, that will set us up for heavenly rewards. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. Hope you all have a great day today. And uh, look forward to getting together tomorrow. Amen. Mm -hmm.